Your Excellency Chairman Grimson, Honorable Participants, Ladies and Gentlemen, good afternoon to you all. It is a great honor for me to join you this afternoon in Reykjavik for the 2024 Arctic, Council, uh, Arctic Circle Assembly. Over the past 11 years since its inception, the Arctic Circle has promoted dialogue and exchanges on Arctic affairs and significantly enhanced mutual trust and cooperation among Arctic stakeholders. The Assembly has become one of the most important international multilateral fora for Arctic affairs. I wish to extend my warm congratulations on the opening of the 2024 Arctic Circle Assembly. Dear colleagues, in recent years, the interplay between Arctic, between climate change and Arctic governance has become increasingly evident and emerged as a hot topic at the Arctic Circle. The Arctic serves as an indicator of global climate change and the amplified version of it. According to some scientific evidence, over the past 40 years, the Arctic's warming has outpaced the global average by 3.7 times, profoundly affecting the geological environment and the way of life in Arctic and the neighboring regions. Addressing climate change has become an indispensable part of Arctic governance and calls for joint efforts from all parties in the foreign areas. First, creating a peaceful and a stable government, a stable environment for Arctic climate governance. Currently, the Arctic is facing dual challenges posed by climate change and the geopolitical context. Ongoing political and security tensions surrounding the Arctic hinder efforts to tackle global and long-term challenges like climate change. In the Arctic Circle, many countries have appealed strongly for resolving geopolitical disputes and revitalizing international cooperation in the Arctic. All parties need to make concerted efforts to restore the long-term status quo and of low tension and active cooperation in a bid to make the Arctic a fine example of international cooperation in addressing global challenges. Second, injecting impetus into Arctic climate governance through sustainable development. Climate change is in fact a development issue. Effective climate response to in the Arctic, therefore, requires a pathway of green, low carbon, and sustainable development. The need for green development in the Arctic region creates important opportunities for the development and application of technologies in clean energy and other fields. Shipping lane development promised by Arctic ice melting cannot only bring, will not only bring commercial benefits to littoral and shipping countries, but also will reduce global carbon emissions by shortening transport routes between Asia and the Atlantic regions. The sustainable utilization of Arctic resources will bring economic opportunities to the Arctic states and the vulnerable groups, particularly the indigenous people, and enhance their economic resilience to climate change. Third, providing support for multilateral and bilateral cooperation in Arctic climate governance. We must uphold the multilateral Arctic governance mechanism. The Arctic Council and the main intergovernmental forum on Arctic affairs needs to move faster to resume its work across the board and play a due role in sustainable development and the environmental protection in the Arctic region. 
At the same time, the Arctic climate governance should be promoted in a coordinated manner under the framework of global climate governance, following the principle of common but differentiated responsibilities, as well as the objectives, principles, and the rules of the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change and its Paris Agreement. Climate governance in the Arctic cannot rely solely on Arctic states. All stakeholders need to leverage their respective strengths in finance, technology, and talents, pitch in together, and strengthen collaboration. Dear colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, China is geographically close to the Arctic, and its climate and environmental environment closely untwined with the Arctic. As an important stakeholder in Arctic affairs, China has always adhered to the overarching principle of respect, cooperation, win-win result, and sustainability. In its, participating, in its participation in Arctic affairs, actively promoted peace, stability, and sustainable development in the Arctic region, and played its part in responding to climate change in the region by studying, protecting, and utilizing it and taking part in its governance. China has focused the, its attention in the following areas. First, China works to deepen the perception of Arctic climate issues through scientific research. China supports the scientific research on the Arctic. It has scaled up research on Antarctic atmosphere, ocean, and ecosystem during scientific research expeditions to the Arctic Ocean or in its Yellow River Station on Arctic, and actively carries out cross-sphere studies based on resembling features of China's domestic natural environment and thus contributing China's wisdom to the study of Arctic climate. Second, China works to help mitigate climate change in the Arctic, Arctic while fulfilling its climate responsibility. China faithfully undertakes the share of responsibility for the global climate and stays committed to realizing its carbon peaking and carbon neutrality goals as announced by our president. China will make the biggest reduction of carbon emission intensity in the world and move away from carbon peaking to carbon neutrality in the shortest time span in the world history. China's efforts will contribute to a better climate and the environment in Antarctic. Third, China works to promote the green and the low carbon development of the Arctic through Arctic development cooperation. While protecting the Arctic ecological environment and respecting the rights and the interests of the Arctic indigenous people, China is committed to strengthening economic cooperation with the Arctic states in clean energy and other fields, taking an active part in building Arctic sea routes as a part of a Silk Road on ice, cooperation for the sustainable development of the Arctic. Fourth, China works to engage in Arctic climate governance through collaboration in Arctic multilateral platforms. As an observer at the Arctic Council, China actively supports the work of the organization. Chinese experts have continued to carry out scientific research projects in such fields as climate and energy, in working groups of the Council. China has also actively participated in climate-related work under the framework of the agreement to prevent unregulated high seas fisheries in the Central Arctic Ocean. Dear colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, inclusiveness creates power and cooperation produces win-win results. Arctic affairs bear global significance and a far-reaching impact. 
and concerns the overall interests of the international community, upholding the vision of a community with a shared future for mankind, China will work hand in hand with all parties, all stakeholders, to engage in extensive cooperation in such fields as Arctic climate, environmental protection, and sustainable development, and contribute more to peace, stability, and the development in the Arctic region. In closing, I sincerely wish the 11th Arctic Circle Assembly a full success. I thank you. Well, thank you uh, very much, Your Excellency. Thank you.